Pirates are set back. So, at the beginning of their round... Oh, uh, hang on. So this time I kind of really... Did I say very stymied or very vulnerable? Which one was I, I going with? Do you remember? I think... I think it was stymied? I'd like to think it was stymied, um, because very vulnerable just doesn't really make sense. So that's two. Uh... And that's going to be five, okay, six, and the captain. Okay, two, five, six, and the captain. Let me get these open so I can mark them. <sighs> They're already there. Captain, two, five, six. Come on, lovey. You can do it. That's two. Okay. Uh, okay. That's for two. Character sheet. Okay, where's the other two at? Why didn't they show up? Five. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh, I can't wait until I have a new way to do this. Two, four. Okay. And then two, four. Okay, so that's them. Oh, uh, I didn't mark Captain Finch. Okay, there we go. So, that's at least working quickly tonight. So, we're going to start with Mo, Skeleton Pirate 2, who does not have his cutlass. Let me mark that real quick so that I can remember. Uh, let's see, cutlass, let's get this open. Okay, and there we go. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Uh, let's see. So his unarmed combat, he does step forward and goes to try and punch you in the face. Mo, are you there? I'm, I'm here. I'm just waiting on you. You're waiting on me? I'm you, waiting on you. you I, was, I was being punched in the face. Who's flying the plane? You, you have, who's flying the plane? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's got you? So let's see. I've got a. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, sometimes I'll lay things out and make them so nice and neat, and then it all turns to crap. Okay, unarmed combat. My total is a fourteen. What is your unarmed uh, defense? Uh, considerably less. <laughs> Isn't it a nine? It's a seven. Melee is a nine. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. That's I'm better That's at still only a good success. I'm better at melee than I am at hand to hand. But okay, uh, that means that I get to let's see, I get one bonus die, so twelve plus ooh, seventeen, twenty. What is your toughness? Fourteen. Okay, so that's a six. All right, you take you. Take one wound and two shock unless you want to soak it. No, I'll, I'll miracle it away in a minute. Well, here's the problem. Your suit also takes a puncture. Oh, oh that's no good. If yeah, this is what uh, sent dogfight into a spiral of death. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I'll, I'll spend the possibility to get rid of the uh, get rid of the wound. Okay, I think. Am yeah. I going to be able to? Well, uh, it's only one wound and two shock. You get rid of a minimum of one wound and all shock from that attack. So you can spend the possibility, and you don't even have to make a roll. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am going to try and reintroduce packages uh, that you guys can use for, uh, you know, when we get to the foundry like they had in, in original Torg. 
I, I loved those packages, and I think they can work really well for this game. Uh, Support the UPS. Wrong kind of package. Wrong kind of package. <laughs> minus one possibility. <laughs> really? No, I'm messing okay. with you. If I ever say okay. something like minus one possibility, it's going to have to be one of those jokes that would give me a heart attack. Okay. Not make okay. me giggle a little bit, but give me a heart attack. I, I, I don't take away possibilities. So okay. nobody's ever given me a heart attack. Okay. So that's the villain for Mo. Um, oh, and he was, he was, uh, he would, Mo, hang on. Okay. Uh -huh. So that was a 10 plus four. That was a 14, uh, minus four. That's a 10. He still would have hit, but he would not have had the bonus die. So, uh, that's five, six, seven, eight. I rolled for that. Um, his damages, uh, it, it came out to be, what was that? 20? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. Uh, it's a 12. Get your possibility back. Yay! Uh, 12, <laughs> uh, 11 to 9, 13, 5. No, that can't be right. That would have been two shock. Okay? Right, so Not one two shock. two shock. Just two shock. I apologize about that. Uh, being able to roll on roll 20 has its advantages because it automatically figures that stuff in. Mm. Okay. So that was my fault. You guys are welcome to catch me on that stuff too. And I, I appreciate it because I'm most assuredly not perfect. Uh, uh, did you forget the vulnerable? Yeah. I had forgotten the very vulnerable or no, the very side because yeah, the hit would not have been good enough to give him that bonus die. And I rolled an infinity symbol and then three. So that would have been five plus three. That's eight plus 12 is 20. So, you know, 12 of, or yeah, uh, eight of those points on that damage came from the bonus die, which didn't occur. You, you did remember to take his like cutlass bonus away from him for his damage, right? Um, <sighs> see 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 i'm not perfect um you know what i need to do I'm, what i'm gonna do for these guys that are missing their cutlass i am going to add a weapons line for unarmed I'm gonna <laughs> call it fisticuffs uh tech zero energy weapon zero damage is strength plus zero um and that's that. Okay. And then when I get to Ginger, I have to do the same thing. So that actually would have been minus three. So the damage would have been a nine minus your nine. My seven. toughness, 14. Yeah. Your, your toughness was 14. Yes. 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 Okay. No, it, then I guess it would. Yeah. Whatever. We're going to figure that out later. You're, you've got two shock that you've taken, and, and that's, that's to the good. Now, Peaches. Uh -huh. um, okay, it's my turn to do that. Skeletal Pirate 5. I'm going to try and roll this on the roll 20 uh, because it things are running kind of quick right now, to be honest. Okay, he's got one wound already. And then let's go ahead and add Fisticuffs. I could call it pugilism, but typically pugilism requires some kind of stick. Okay, strength plus zero. Okay, and then we can close that. And let's try and do that. No modifier. Holy crap, it's rolling. It's running kind of quick tonight. Okay, so 13. Uh, yeah, I know. That's okay. So, let's see. His roll was a 13. His result was a 4. Because um, he's stymied. Because he's stymied. Yes, that's and right. Wounded. And wounded. Yeah. So, he only got a plus 1 on there. Um, so, he missed. Yay! I, I, unless your um, unless your defense, your, your, uh, your melee defense is less than 4. Yeah. Not a chance. Okay. So that takes care of that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then there, okay, so Chris already went. Um, those guys already went. They're uh, not coming. Oh, wait a minute. You had some kind of card plan. 
Huh? Peach just had some kind of card plan. Oh, yes. Yeah, what's um, up? This. And I, I think everyone will agree with me. We want to keep them stymied and sit back. Okay. And we want uh, to depart. Can I combo master plan with that? Um, yes, yes, you can. That's exactly I, what that card is for. As a matter of fact, yes, you could. Um, she can season it. Okay, leave the cards right there for just a minute. The scene is not over. I've still got two pirates to move. Okay, and probably attack with one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. So, Skeletal Pirate Six moves up to Chris right in front of him. Um, you've already done your fear check. In fact, no, that comes off at the end of next round, doesn't it? So, Chris, are you with me? Yeah. Okay. So, let me make sure he. He does not have an entry, so let's make sure that he's added to the turn tracker. Okay, uh, and that's six. Get open, you. Yeah, things seem to be kind of running pretty well right now, to be honest with you. Um, jinx it. <laughs> I'm not going to jinx it. Okay, so Chris, he's going to try and stab you. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. That zero came up quick. That's good. So let's see what he actually rolled. An eight. I think that's probably going to be a miss. What is your... Let's see. You have what? A spear gun. You can use that as a melee defense weapon. Okay. So, yeah, it doesn't hit with a 12. Okay. So he's done. Let me close him up. And then the captain is going to basically come over here and jump down. Okay. And you don't... You see the captain because this area right here, you see where I'm pointing? Yeah. Okay. That is basically open. It's held up by a few timbers and stuff, but uh, he is going to come through there towards you. But it took all of his movement to jump down off of that top deck. So he's done for the round. So that means... Okay. We can do the switch out. You want to keep this card, you say? Or do you want me to go ahead and flip the card and see uh, what is revealed? Keep this uh, card. Well, uh, well, I think she's gone because we can keep this card even after we see what the other card is, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, let's see what the next one is in case it's better. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's not, which uh, yeah, it's... seems highly unlikely, it is yeah. a dramatic scene. So yeah, well, yeah, let's see what it does. Okay, the pace quickens. Uh, Any multi-action is allowed. Heroes go first, but villains get to flurry. Okay, uh, we're keeping the current card. Yeah, okay. we're keeping the current card. Get rid of that one. Okay, so... Um, who had the master plan? Me. Hmm. I've got to decide whether I'll let you use it or not. Let's see. Pick up any cards. Just with it. The cover card may... I am in communication with them. Master plan in your action pool or go straight into your hand. Yes, but you don't have any way to... Hmm. This one's kind of a toughie. Roll a... Uh, um, Josh, roll a d20. Just a straight d20. Uh, all right. Uh, 15. Okay. Go ahead and take the season initiative card. Cool. And I'll get rid of the current cards, okay? That'll that'll replace a uh, master plan in my pool. Yes, yes, that's fine. You played master plan from your pool masterfully, <laughs> uh, and now you have seize initiative. So okay. let me go ahead and get rid of that. So uh, they're on the run. Intimidate is the approved action. Uh, it is a dramatic scene. Heroes get to go first, and villains get a setback. So, uh, I, I, uh, I, uh, is it us on the bottom's turn to go first? No, uh, it is actually Josh's turn to go first. Okay. Oh, I forgot to roll this down to four. I don't know if Robert's showing up tonight or not. I, I sure hope he is. But uh, if he's not, he will not be participating tonight. He'll get Does like seven. Does anyone action. have a coup de gras card or anything? Oh, God, I wish no. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to look at this fish. It's like, listen, you need to die or we die. So die. <laughs> <laughs> and All we're right. Trying go ahead. Hellfire again. 
Um, that is unfortunate. What? Well, uh, write what you rolled. It's it's just a failure, but. Mm. Do you have any cards in your pool? I could spend a possibility. Or do you have a possibility? It's up I'm to you. Gonna, I'm going to try for a possibility because I have nine of them, uh -huh. and you can only EXP bonus so far. Yeah. So I'm going to roll that again. Oh, that fell off the table. Let me see what that was. Did it get flat? <laughs> if it didn't go uh, flat, you got to roll it again. Okay. It went flat on the floor. Okay. It was a seven, but possibilities are a minimum of ten, I think. Yes. So, so that, that would, would give you a roll of 18, a bonus of five. Um, uh -huh. And then you're stymied. So that takes very you down stymied. to very stymied. So that takes you down to a roll of or a, a bonus of one. It gives you a plus one. So that makes my faith total uh, 15. 15. Uh, okay, let me find the shark again. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, a faith total of 15. It doesn't have faith, so it has to go with spirit of 8, 15. Wait, is it versus dodge? It's dodger decks. Oh, dodger decks, that's right. You're right. And it's dodge uh, is down to 5. You rolled a 15? Yeah. So that is an outstanding success. What do you want to happen? Uh, Preferably, I would like to kill it and then start resing it in the same turn because I forgot to mention it. It takes a minute to cast uh, Create Zombie. Oh, my lord. Um, so six more rounds for you. Yeah. Um, okay, so. So let's see. Here's what we could do. Um, okay. Got a 15. Okay, roll a bonus die along with your standard damage. Okay. Okay. And and I, I'm doing something here, so stick with me. All right. Four on the bonus die, and then your damage was what? It's 13, so 17. 13, 17. Versus a toughness of 13. So that gives you a 4. Uh, which is only 2 shock. Okay. Um, and it had 4 shock remaining. So here you can kill the shark. Here's what I'm going to do. You can kill the shark. This turn. Um, because you can't really do both. What I was going to do is if you had rolled high enough to give it enough damage... Uh, it could kill the shark at a at the equivalent of a good success, and then you could start the 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 uh, invocation for making it for creating a zombie this round. Okay, ooh, but ooh, ooh. since you uh, have, what's up uh, to, to 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 help with this, I have got a flurry card in my hand. Well, yes. you again, he's. 30 fathoms above you and the cards I'm, that he's used thus far have been things that he could kind of speak to you guys, helping you with plans, listening to your chatter. I think, I think what he's saying is we could trade cards. I could give you like a second wind or my seize initiative. Well, that that's what I'm talking about. You guys are too far away from one another. Oh, to trade. Okay. Yeah. Remember the living land, uh, uh, adventure that we did when you guys, yeah. when, when Mo and Chris ran down to the end of the street and could not help, Peaches or uh, Francois or Isabel, it's you're actually further away now than you were in that adventure, and you're under the water and you can't move fast and all of that stuff. So trade. I appreciate the offer. Yeah. So sorry yeah. about that. Uh, so you kill the shark and it is ready to start resing next round and i'm i need to get like a different color no i'll run that d6 over there there's also the matter of the plane will no longer sink yes that's true um uh, actually to be honest with you the plane was already lurching to the side um uh to that side to the starboard side uh last round so now the dead weight of the shark is beginning to pull under because <laughs> oh, it oh, was still tied in there. <laughs> oh, so we are still sinking. 
So you are still sinking, and Fran uh, not Francois, Jacques is is uh, sitting there going, "What is happening?" There's a shark. It's or whatever this animal's called. It's in this net. I think the word is. I killed it trying to get it out. And so we are sinking. I I point a few tentacles at the large holes that are in whatever was keeping us afloat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's here's a problem for you, and 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 this is kind of more of a role playing problem than anything else. It's going to take you six rounds to. <laughs> it, it's going to take you six rounds to uh, make this thing into a zombie to create zombie. Um. I recommend that you have Jacques outside ready to cut this thing loose once you finish your, your invocation. I agree. Because otherwise the shark is going to sink out of sight by the time the minute is up. And also cutting it loose will prevent it from its carcass from sinking us. Well, from sinking you, exactly. So, you know, is that what you want to do? That sounds like a plan. Okay. Jock, get ready to cut this thing loose once I'm done turning it into a zombie. Wee oui, wee. Oui. And he goes to climb out the maintenance hatch above the wing um, so that he can get down to that. Uh, it's In fact, it's going to take him about six rounds to skinny out there and be able to safely stay on the pontoon, which is still attached at the front, and it's the reason the shark is pulling everything down. So... But if you can get that shark, the dead shark loose from the pontoon, the pontoon is still there and it can still hold things kind of in place. Okay. All right. My God, there's a plausible like the reason, huh? But by the time I race this thing, the, the mission will be over. <laughs> Not necessarily. Okay. okay. Not necessarily. That's, that's, that's right. We're going. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, would you close already? Thank you. Okay, so heroes get to go first. Uh, Josh has just gone, and, and you guys heard about how all of that worked. So now it's up to the three of you who wants to go first, and what do you want to do? Uh, I will guess I'll go first, since that's the way we've been going. Mm -hmm. Could I use my telekinesis to launch this guy out of my way? Um, yeah. Yeah, you can try, but I, I want you to keep something in mind. If you get an outstanding success, um, you're going to have an option. You'll either be allowed to spend a possibility to reduce the amount of force going out of your hands, or... Um, uh, you're going to, you may end up damaging the suit. I'm not going to say you will. I'm going to say with an outstanding success, you'll have a chance of damaging the suit because you are putting out so much force against this guy. Which also, notice where you're at. Do you recognize uh, your location if I move this card? Yeah, I know I'm right next to the ship, but I'm planning on like taking this guy and flinging him behind me. Oh, you want to pick him up and, and fling him? That's... Uh, like it's like from here to, you know, by here. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine this. You get an outstanding success and decide to go with the whole thing. And before we roll, whether you puncture your suit or not, <laughs> a skeletal pirate flies over the top of the seaplane. <laughs> <laughs> What? That splashes back down. No, that's not what's happened. I could just picture it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I can finally use command on that. Oh, wait, it's gone. Yeah, that thing's already undead. You can just nab it. Yeah. Uh, wait, is it nighttime right now? Uh, you don't Um, you don't know. You're 30 fathoms under the ocean. Are it could... When we went me. down, was it nighttime or not? Uh, no, when you went down, it was probably closer to noon. Um, Drat, because if it was nighttime, I could just picture it as like it, you know, flies up, starting going over like the free willy plane. <laughs> yeah, over the moon and then on to the other side of the plane. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What uh, you're getting ready to use 
telekinesis, does that have a nighttime element? No, no, no. no. I was just saying that because I was just picturing like oh, during the night the it's cow just flying over, over the, the moon. moon. Was that a skeletal pirate? <laughs> I don't know, lovey. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Now it's time to roll telekinesis. I think he's gone on a three-hour tour. Go ahead. <laughs> Our tiny ship is being tossed. <laughs> All right, talk to me, Goose. What'd you get? Okay, so I got a fifteen. Oh my God, you guys are funny. You got a fifteen. Okay, what? and so that's plus two to my can to my total kinesis roll with for telekinesis, which makes it fifteen. And what was the difficulty for my maneuver? Uh, whoa, whoa, the telekinesis is in itself is easy, so that's seven over. Okay, so you're seven over on that, which uh, makes it a good success. So, what does a good success do? I believe that adds plus one to your mind. Uh, and for range is fifty meters now. It makes it fifty meters. Um, and it's plus two to a power's effective strength. Plus two to the powers of well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you've got a mind of ten, right? Right. Okay, so that means a 12. Uh, so that means 250 pounds. This thing weighs maybe 50 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> okay, the puns are really starting to get out of hand. Okay. Uh, okay, so showing me by arrow, which direction did you want to send this guy? Okay. The so. term nowadays is <clears throat> yeet. And in arcing fashion, this and, direction. Okay, but hey, remember where your friends are, right? Are you talking him at me? <laughs> yes, he no. is. Yes, <laughs> not exactly. Not exactly. <laughs> I mean, come on. Okay. Just somewhere behind me. It just so happens everybody's behind me. Yeah, where you can't see them if they decide to come after you after they oh. get rid of us. Okay. Oh, once I get in, I'll be able to maybe. Chris. Probably. <laughs> Chris. Probably, maybe, kind of, sort of. Chris. Yes. Roll a bonus die for me. Okay. This is not for damage. Six. Do I roll again? Uh, yeah, that's five plus whatever you roll on your next dice. Uh, two. So seven. seven. Okay, so that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Uh, he is way out of your way. Do you want to move? Yes. Okay, now this box right here, okay, um, that is representing the infernal machine. Okay, okay. But, but let's see. Let me let me see if I can draw this a little bit. Uh, let's go freehand, and no, let's go yellow. I want to use yellow regular. That works. Okay, so the machine. Uh, let me get over here. Is about okay. Oh, sure, fine. The machine is about. Yay, big. I need a square. Boy, I'm sucking. Uh, so, control Z. Let me get rid of that. Uh, let me do a polygon. That'll be better. And yellow again. Okay, the only reason... The, the machine itself is not in yellow. Um, I'm just using this for color's sake. Okay. Now, the machine itself is... is it seems to be kind of tipping into the ground. And... Um, uh, go ahead and roll your maneuver. Okay. And of course, this is a free roll. This doesn't count as an action. So, did you... Uh, but you do roll again on 10s and 20s. Okay. Uh, yeah. I passed with a 10. You passed with a 10. Okay. So you can move all the way up to the machine. Don't forget to take your spear gun with you. Oh. Uh, I don't have access to move. That's okay. I'll, I'll I'll move it after you move. Um, what I want to do. Okay. Let 
let me see if I've got my description in here. Uh, okay. Okay, you're only going to have five rounds to complete this. Okay. What you see is a, a weird science device. Okay, in front of you. You see kind of a deck with a lot of controls, but they're not okay. covered by, by, by any kind of a glass or anything like that. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me write this up real quick. Uh, that's the sharks. I can come back to them. All right. So, I need text, Arial 16. I'm going to write this in yellow as well. Um, and I'm going to try and put it down here. So, uh, DSR, and then uh, step A. Give me a minute, folks. Uh, study the machine. Uh, evidence. Analysis 10. B. Uh, stop it from collecting possibility. Energy. Uh, let's see. Weird science 10. Science. Ah, uh, stop. Science or mind 12. Uh, let's see, C is reverse the machine uh, to return possibility energy to Earth. Uh, let's see, weird science 12. And the reason that I'm putting in weird science is, uh, let's see, Mo, do you have weird science? No. I, I think Dogfight might. I uh, think he might. I okay. think he said something about it. Infernal. I, I have Scholar. Maybe I can help instruct people over the video phone. <laughs> it, but it's not a video phone. It's just speakers. Right. I was... I was thinking Metal Gear Solid again. This is uh -oh. like a codec call. <laughs> <laughs> Science. Snake, you have to disarm this underwater metal gear. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me get out of that. Okay. Can you read those instructions clearly? Uh, yes. Okay. So that's yeah. what you're facing. Um, now, you have on the card for the DSR A, B, C, and D. You are able, you're, you're not going to be able this round to make a multi-action on it. I didn't think about that. Um, but if if uh, Thuban is going to do what I think Thuban is going to do. Correct. Uh, uh, this one has A, B, C, and D, and you would be able to do a multi-action on it. Now, here's the real trick. And let me, let me kind of, uh, let me kind of open this up. Okay. Go with that. I want 32. You have five rounds to get this done. Okay. okay. Now, it's not just on you. Um, let's see. Like, studying the machine, that's going to be for you. Stop it from... Okay. Yeah, you're pretty much going to have to figure all of this out on your own. I'm not sure if, if anybody's going to be able to help you at all. <laughs> maybe, maybe me if he describes things like in a bomb defusal style thing where like one person has a manual the other person is fiddling with the red wires oh i i think i know there's a game about that yeah I... uh keep talking uh -huh. and nobody explodes yeah yes, that yeah my oh, sons were playing that before that. you need what i'm sorry uh uh, we were just talking about the game. Is just that we know how that actually goes when you actually try that. It, it, yeah, we're, competent, we're competent player characters, so unlike real people, we might be able to do something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, um, okay, so Chris, you got there. You want you're finished for this round. So Peaches and Mo, between you two. <laughs> uh, well, I'm. 
again, uh, trying to beat down this this thing, give it another wound. Okay. All right. Give it your best shot. All right. Let me increase that. So, okay. <clears throat> Actually, this. I need to move these to the map and background. I'd give money to have brought an emergency raft down here with me that I could shove into this rib cage and pull a cord. <laughs> now that's awesome. You know, there was this one Infiniverse uh, article that had something about a tune cosm. Yes, I know. I've got the tune cosm on my on my uh, desktop here or laptop here. So, okay, so Ginger, you rolled a nine. Um, which is not going to be good for a melee hit because he's got a melee of uh, defense of thirteen. Right, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend. And oh. I didn't check my character before I did, so. And you didn't what? Uh, I oh. didn't tap my character before I did, so. Okay, um, hang, hang on just a second. Uh, that's a roll of eleven peaches. Eleven. There you go. So now you can tap on peaches and and have that available for you. Okay. Tap on myself. Mm -hmm. Possibility. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Very nice. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, so that's a result of seventeen to hit. Uh, so minus his thirteen melee. Let me double check that. Let me make absolutely certain. I'm gonna have to have the character sheet open anyway. So. He's a or vulnerable or something like that. Uh, yes, that's right. He is He is very stymied. So that means... Oh, that doesn't affect his... Uh, yeah, that does not affect his defenses. That just affects the use of his skills. But he is wounded, so that's a, a minus one. Um, so that's 12. And you gave us a 17. So that's a 5. Okay, so that is a good success. Go ahead and roll plus one bonus die. Excellent. Yes. So I knew I should have put those two charts together. Dog on it. <laughs> quite all right. So that let me touch my target. Bonus die one, you said? Yep. Submit. Two wounds, four shock. Okay, old boy goes down. Uh that's a very, very nice roll. It really is. It's about time. I'm working <laughs> after Chris in high dungeon after this. Uh, let's see. I cannot go up further than one, which I'm I'm going to change that when I move over to the foundry. That you should be able to put on as many, many wounds as you need to put on. Um, okay, so that guy is down for the round. Um, hmm. So there. <laughs> uh, right, right, exactly. <laughs> okay, so Mo. Yes. What is next for you? Uh, Mo is Mo, Mo is determined to like you know stomp this thing like into the ground, and he's doing a piss poor job of it. Well, uh, you know, but determination, you know, determination. <laughs> It can it can mean a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so um, and I was reading my my friggin' uh, did, can I cast strike on my fists? That's a good question. Uh, I think we've got everything kind of. Uh, let's see, strike is a miracle or a spell. Miracle. Okay, hang on just a minute. Let me pop open my table of contents here, the handy dandy table of contents. Uh, I mean, I've got the whole thing copied here, and it just says you can you can uh, uh, increase the effect by plus one on the value of a weapon. And the question is, do they consider a fist a weapon because it does damage? You know what? I've been getting, the last few weeks, I've been getting an education in how literal things are in Torg. And I'm going to say yes. One second, one second. Okay. Somebody's knocking at the door. Go, quickly. We're in a seaplane in the middle of the ocean. Don't answer that. <laughs> so, 
you want to cast it on yourself. Yep. It would be uh, even worse if it was in space. Mm, something like that. Or you could consider the gauntlet that's around your hand mm. as part of the suit to be a weapon. Yeah, shame is hitting brass knuckles. That would... Sorry about the break. My sister was announcing that she got a casting role. Excellent. Oh, good for her. Good for her. Yeah. That's fantastic. What's she playing in? Uh, Liz Estrada. Oh, I thought she was going to be the next uh, Black Panther. You oh. got to work your way up. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, what was that again? Liz uh, Estrada. The, uh, the sex strike play, uh, oh, written oh. in uh, Greece. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, that's very cool. No matter what, that's really cool. Um. <laughs> Okay, so Mo, go ahead and invoke your strike miracle. All right, invoking strike miracle. Oh, that's that's just not delicious at all. Um, do you do you have anything you want to do with that? Mm. See, my total is still an eight. Do I need a ten? Um, actually for the unarmed, okay, that's skeleton too. Let me at least get him open. Uh, let's see. Skeleton two. His unarmed is a 10. Well, uh, uh, no, no, this is just, this is just to uh, cast the, cast the miracle on me. On, oh, 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 oh. Um, I, you know, I need let's the miracle. Yes, I, I. I, apparently, I didn't transfer it over right, and it doesn't have it on there. Well, uh, hang on just a minute. Captain Mo. Mm -hmm. and you're looking for the strike miracle. Let's make mm -hmm. sure that that is put in there properly. And you can go, you, uh, old Mo is still on here. He's just down in the living land, in the, in the best area for the living land. So I haven't removed him. Okay, miracles, strike. Oh, let's see what you got. Okay, you've already opened it up. Thank you, sir. Let's see. Sometimes even the most peaceful of the chosen must pick up the staff. Uh, I need a ten. Okay. Where does it say that? Uh, oh, okay. Ten is ten. It <laughs> Actually, you need a twelve. Skill is faith 12. You have to have at least a faith of 12 to cast the spell. Yes. The, the target number is the standard D in well, 10. Uh, there it is. Okay, so let's put that in there. Uh, not damage, you knucklehead. Wait a minute. Skill is faith. Damage range. Oh, I see what's going on. Open up. Come on. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, standard 10. Uh, what you had to do was check the box next to power. It was already put in there. Oh, so okay. You, you, did, okay. you did need a standard of 10 to be able to invoke that uh, miracle. Um, so do you want to add anything to get above that 8? Um, let me see here. Do I have anything in here that I can add? Uh... Boy, you guys have had a real rough night already. We have, we have. It's been terrible. It's been a rough <laughs> past few sessions. Yeah, All it right. has. And I, I want to take a moment and apologize to you guys. I shouldn't be sitting there cursing everything on Earth. It's really unprofessional. That's why I bought the new software. So please forgive me. All just right. have all new things to swear at. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you are spending a possibility then, Mo? Yes, I am. Okay, that's amazing. So 17 as a result. That's just, uh, that was for the spell. So that mm -hmm. should give you, uh, that's a seven. Oh, uh, that's only, it still only counts as a good success. But I mean, that's. Uh, a good success you, increases the damage by plus two. Plus two. Three, that's right. For three rounds. Yeah. So. For three rounds. Okay, would I've got too many dice floating around here. Would you mind keeping track of that three rounds, please? No, no, I'm perfectly good with that. Okay. Um, and let's see, I need to set that to five. Okay. Uh, instead of six. Right. 
because it starts at five. That okay, so that was pretty good. Um, you were not multi-actioning, were you? No, no, I was just casting the spell. Okay, so let's see, Josh, we took care of you for this round already, right? Yep. Okay, and then we've just gotten finished taking care of you three on the seabed. So now it's the bad guy's turn. Um, but they are going to remain uh, uh, very stymied. Um, let's see. That's a setback. I was thinking of if I wanted to try and do anything different with them. Anyway, Skeletal pilot, Pirates 3 and 4 um, are going to remain down through this round and the next one. Uh, so you guys might actually have a chance at winning this. Um, did you think we didn't? Um, actually, I kind of pumped up the bad guys because I went through my... my uh, opposition development tool and found out that these guys could not stand against you, period. Even with their special ability of being able to regenerate within a round. Uh, and and uh, I can tell you the secret behind putting skeletons down later. But right hmm. now, I'm okay. not going to do it. Nah, 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 well, nah. Clearly, it's not supernatural damage. Of course, somebody could could play an idea card or something like that and and uh, get an idea about how to dispatch these skeletons for good. Um, well, somebody will. Destroying the corpse, probably. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But you've got to do it over the course of three combat rounds. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I just Never. gave away everything. But it's still going to cost an ID card, an idea card, or you guys can't I mean, do it. We well, are in a DSR. We don't have time for that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, well, if, if if he can blow this machine up in three rounds, then we won't need to. That's true. <laughs> that's very true. Well, now, now these, these I, did, two, I, did just, I did just get my idea card into my hand. Okay. So, it's, so, so, so I'll be able to do so. Okay, let me close this because we no longer need the information behind Strike. I'm sitting here holding the damn core rules book in my hand, and I'm like, why am I still holding this? Because I'm an idiot. Um, <sighs> no, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Okay. Um, Mo, you might like me. Uh, that's going to be a minus two above and beyond what he's already got. So let's see. By God, he found it. Oh my gosh. Okay, Where'd so Mo, you are going to get a bonus of two on this next round to hit the skeleton, but the skeleton finds his cutlass and is going to spend the rest of this round picking it up. But he maintains the, the very stymied. Um, let's see. Wow. That's quite the roll. Now, uh, Peaches, what are you... Oh, you know what? Peaches, after you dispatched Skeletal Pirate 5, you could have moved last round. Oh, I, I meant to then. Um, I wanted to end after Chris. Okay, give me a maneuverability test. Uh, sorry, folks, I have to retcon something here real quick. Give me a mm -hmm. maneuverability roll. Uh, maneuverability roll. Or dexterity. Okay, you are able to move up to one half your movement rate. Okay, for the for last round, I forgot to even ask you if you wanted to do that. Uh, not that it's really yeah. my responsibility, but I kept rambling on. So, no, I'm headed this way. Um, okay. Could you move me? I don't know. So two. Hold on, I, I got to figure out how many you've got. I think I think you've got five. Um. Let's see. No, you've got four. Okay, so close that. So that's two, uh, three. Do you want? Uh, <laughs> do you want to be on top of the skeletal pirate or not? <laughs> <laughs> Can I step on its skull and its spine? Well, actually, that would have been the end of last round, and it would have had. It would have required an attack, a multi-action. So. No, then. <laughs> okay, so then for this round, 
do you want to try and move? Yes. Okay. Uh, and Mo, I didn't ask that about you either. Do you want to stay engaged with that skeletal pirate number two? Uh, I don't yes. know if you want a committed relationship with a skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Look, Look I, I don't know. He, he's there. quiet. He doesn't give me too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Peaches, is that where you want to be? Yeah, I, I'm chasing after Chris. Okay. Then I thought, whoa, no, I'm going to try to like disarm him again. <laughs> I don't know what that poor kid's getting. Poor kid's going to blow himself up if some, not, someone's not looking out for him. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's like the minute you said I'm going to disarm him again, I was like, in my mind, you're like, no, bad Skelly, bad. Like a pet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then it's up to you, Chris. Um, how are your possibilities and cards doing, buddy? <laughs> They're doing good. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a plan for how you kind of want to attack this machine? Uh, maybe I can help out via plan. Keep talking and nobody explodes. Well, <laughs> let's see. Do you have weird science, science or mind, evidence analysis? Um, yeah. Any of those three skill, uh, four skills, or I'm sorry, three skills, one attribute. I have mind eleven. So, okay. Um. Now, wait a minute. This is this is a weird science device, and you're from Isle. I'm going to let you try and help him one step at a time. Uh, well, kind of. It depends on what Chris wants to do. Um, Andrew would be able to help a lot more, but he's not here right now. Which Andrew? Cut the uh, red fire! Dog fight. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Robert. Shove a grenade in it. Clack. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. It's a terrible idea, but do it anyway. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you, Chris. Okay, so, uh, Chris, how do you want to do this? Please explain it to me. Well... I would start looking at the controls and seeing what try to logically deduce what does what. Oh, yeah, wait a sec. Chris is an engineer. Maybe he could use some of that yeah. mumbo jumbo. Well, let's see. How high is Chris's engineering? What is what is your value on profession engineering? Uh that would be a total of thirteen. Okay. So yeah. You know that I think that might work, um, but if you're gonna, how many of the DSR steps do you want to try and do this round? Uh, I say I'll go at it one at a time for best odds of success. Um, we do okay. have another round of all the stages being available with this card. Okay, yeah. so then, oh, okay, so you get to do step A. Okay, which is evidence analysis, which will uh, which requires a ten. So give me that roll. Okay, I just barely pass at the oh. ten. Okay, you so you got a ten, and that's that's what you needed. Is that what you're saying? Yes, okay. that is what I am saying because I rolled a nine. Which is a minus one with my evidence analysis being at 11 right now, making it 10. Okay, so you've crushed step A. Why didn't it do that? Okay, hang on a minute. I, what, what are you doing that for? Get back. There we go. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. Okay, so step A is good. You've got that. That's all right. Leave it alone. So then we move on to the villains who do have a setback. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, um, okay, Skeletal Pirates 3 and 4 uh, will remain until the end of next round. Okay, as they are 
Skeletal Pirate 5 will be able to get up the round after that. And I, I know what's getting ready to happen. I'm just trying to explain what's, you know, what's going on. Um, Skeletal Pirate 2 already has um, uh, his minus 4 for very stymied. Uh, and he passed his find test to pick up, be able to pick up, uh, find and pick up his uh, cutlass. So, oh, let me, let me change that real quick because he now has his cutlass back, and he will be able to act on this next round. Okay, so let me get that changed, because he found it. Found it, did, did, did. Okay, and that takes care of that. All right, so he's picking that up. Those guys are down. Skeletal Pirate 6 here is going to spend the remainder of the round on the seabed, but he will he will be up at the beginning of next turn. So he will be able to act. And then Captain Finch has a movement of seven, um, but not through the ship. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So Captain Finch is coming for you, baby. Uh, but he can't hit you yet. So... So you've got four more rounds to solve this. Uh, and if you don't, it's going to melt into the earth, and then there's going to have to be another adventure that I'll have to write. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I think that's it. Yep. That is it for the round. So let me get the next card out here. And draw my deck core. Oh, wait a minute. Did you want to keep that last card? Uh, yes. Uh, Actually, let's keep you, that last card. Yeah, you've got an opportunity though to to s select. Uh, do you do you want to change to this one? If you don't, play your card, and and I'll go back and get the other one. I th I think that it would be more beneficial to keep the old one because it has all the steps on it. Okay. Yep. So we can mul attempt to multi-action if possible, B and C. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of curses, and let me go back to the discard. Would you pop open for discard, please? Thank you. All right, uh, that's this card. Uh, now showing Paul's dramatic skill resolution of getting roll 20 to work. <laughs> okay, so that was it. They're on the run. And again, again. Again, again. Man, they're just running and running and running. Like the Scooby-Doo thing when they were running through all the 15 doors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Josh, you went first last round, right? Yes. Okay, so Mo, Peach, is Chris. Oh, let me count this down. And I've got that there. And this is for the shark beating everything up. Uh, Yeah, got it. Okay.